Today's topic suggested by Brandy, and I think something we can all relate to, right? Have you ever had a mom crisis? I think where I had my biggest mom crisis was um, when I transitioned from being a working outside of the home mom mm -hmm. to being a full-time stay-at-home mom. And it wasn't completely something I wanted to do, but my, I had kept cutting back the hours as I kept having more kids. And it just got to the point where the company's like, look, you got to choose. Either you have to give us some more time and or, you know, you need to exit. And so I took the exit. And all of a sudden I had to redefine who I was. I mean, I was a career woman I, I and I was a juggler. Look at me doing it all. I'm managing the kids and I'm managing my career and I'm bringing home the bacon. And all of a sudden it was like, well, that, I can't define myself that way anymore. And that was so hard. That hurt for a long time until I figured out being comfortable again in my own skin. For me, I had to sort of stop and say, okay, visualize like, who did I want to be? Like, what did I want to be? Yeah. You know, I had been a kindergarten teacher, so I always thought, oh, I would be just like the parents were, you know, I'd be this and then, and it totally, the, the bus went off the road. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. So all of a sudden I had to visualize like, what kind of mom do I want to be? What kind of career person do I want to be? What kind of woman do I want to be? What kind of person do I want to be? And so that happened a lot. And for me, I feel like it was like so hard, but such a blessing. Because yeah. it does give you that moment to like really hit the reset button. Similarly, I, I, I feel like I've been in various crises throughout my motherhood because I've been at it for a while now. Um, my oldest son is 10 and I have right. to constantly keep reminding mm -hmm. myself I'm not just a mom. I went through a period where it was just like that's the only thing that I am. I don't have anything else to define myself by and I'm trying to remember that as my kids are growing up, you know, I'm kind of growing up with them. I had my first son when I was 23, so, you know, I've been growing up with them and finding out who I am and I have, I'm building those other things that I can, you know, think about not just I'm their mommy, you know, right. so, yeah. you know, trying to remember all of that while letting them go and not, he's only 10, but, you know. I know. It's also good, though, for the kids to see that you're right. other things besides mommy, you yeah. know, and it doesn't have to be if you're working outside the home or working in the home or you exercise mm -hmm. or you get together with friends or you have a craft hobby. I do think it's great for the kids to see, and then you can kind of sense even when they're playing their imaginary games and then she's you know I got to go to a work meeting or, you know and then but but I think it is good for them to see you in these sort of three-dimensional multi-dimensional way definitely you know Liz Gumbiner on her blog mom 101 she wrote a post about she received some big marketing award and you know she always goes back and forth between oh my gosh I'm not here for my kids and I want to be there more, but then she said, and I'm going to cry because, I mean, this this is what I envision. I, you know, my daughter's only two, but I'm hoping that, you know, she can kind of see that everything I do is, is for her, is for us. But she said, you know, she looked out and she saw her girls like, yay, mom, out oh, in the audience. Yeah. Like, isn't that That's awesome? Great. Like, to, you know, your kids are like cheerleading you on. It's as a person, oh, yeah. as, as a mom, though, like they right. really saw yeah. her as as a as a person, like right. as a you yeah. know an entity other than their mom, and that's amazing. And they got to see other people appreciating her, like, right. oh, we, you know, like her world is bigger than us, and right. these people right. know how awesome she is. Also, how cool is that? You, you know? know, Ava is back there going, woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so great, exactly.